Hi friends, it's Amy from Save Your Salvage Scent and I hope this finds you well. Um, for those of you who are new to the channel, this mostly focuses on all things fragrance related with an occasional other DIY or creative project. For those returning, thanks so much for being here. If you haven't yet, I hope you'll click the red subscribe button so that we can stay in touch. Um, a few of you subscribers have kindly asked me to film how I store my perfumes or just a quick glance at my collection. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do today. Most of my perfumes are here in my bedroom. I'll just give you a quick look. Um, and first I'll say, um, this is kind of my working table. And so this is the place that I sit and I make videos and or I kind of study and work on themes. So right now um, I filmed today a video focused on the most rare perfumes in my collection. So that's like the lineup that you're seeing right here in the book and the notes. Um, so whatever theme I'm working on for a video that week will be here. And then I store some of my perfume oils here. And so um, also you'll see there's a little box here. So I tend to have whatever I've received recently. I'm on a low buy right now and I'll tell you all about that um, another day, but I did receive a few um, oils from uh, Solstice Scent. So you can see I've opened that and I'm starting to explore that. But um, some of my perfume oils are here. So for instance, on this little black um, shelving unit, You'll see um, my Alchemia oils on top. The perfumes are in another place. Um, you'll see my uh, Sucre Bay oils at the bottom. And then on the secondary piece, you'll see just some various oils I have in the bottom. And then on the top are my Solstice Scents uh, oil glissés and then all my five milliliter bottles, which are kind of covered up with a sample card, unfortunately. Um, so the oils, some of the oils are there. The majority of my perfume collection is held in this large cabinet. Um, this used to hold my vintage hat collection, but then my perfume collection one. Um, I really like being able to see the perfumes at a glance. Um, this also has a light feature where I can light it up from within, which is really helpful. Um, and I can store some of my backups and things maybe that aren't as pretty in the bottom. But the majority of my perfumes are out here. I store according to house. Um, some people store according to like uh, notes, you know, they might put all vanillas together or all gourmands together or all florals together. That is not what I do. I tend to, when I have more than one bottle in it from a house, I tend to store that house together. Um, and then you'll see I have some various trays where I just have maybe one singular perfume from a house together. So I'm going to come closer here and show you the inside of this cabinet. Um, Let's see here. All right. So um, <clears throat> on the top, I basically have, you know, some of my larger collections. So I have all my lawn buns together on the right side of this tray. On the left side, I have all my Chanel's and then I have a couple Sucre Bay because they fit in there. Um, I have you know, again, sometimes it's just two bottles of the same house, but some Lilique, some Kenzo, um, House of Grey back here, um, et cetera. I think there are some um, Asian Provocateur. Um, some of my, toward the back there, are um, all the Margot Elena scents together. So um, uh, Tokyo Milk and Library of Flowers. Then I have my Solstice Scents perfumes together. I think I have six of those. And then some of the other houses, like I have Halston together. Oh gosh, it goes on and on. Um, some of the Sarah Jessica Parker scents. Some of these you won't be able to see because of the door. I have a couple commodity scents together back here. What else? Oh gosh. And then I have some, sometimes there are things that are only singular, but they're just really big bottles. So I put them toward the back. Um, then on the second, shelving unit. I have a lot of my Guerlain together. Now a bunch of them are out on the table right now because I was talking about some of my more rare perfumes. I have some of my Hermes together, Calvin Klein's, um, Diptyque, some of my, I would say, YSL and Dior's together, my Versace's in the back, Burberry's in the back, some Tom Ford's together, um, some Garnache Parfums, Oscar de la Renta, um, a large collection, though you can't see some of it, of Lolita Lempica. Let's see, what else? 
that's in the second. Um, some of my dossier scents. Um, and then we're going to move to the bottom shelf now. Um, the ones to the left, I did kind of put according to feel and they're essentially either spa scents or scents that I think have a very masculine lean that I wear. And then there's some Rihanna scents together. Um, then I do have a few trays of just scents where I only have one from the house. Um, and so a lot of those are together here in a tray. <clears throat> then down here I have um, some of my Alchemia scents together. Gosh, what else am I seeing here? Caron. Um, some Cacherelle. Some Marc Jacobs. Gosh, it goes on and on. Um, and there's the end of that. Some Prada back there together. So, and then in the down below kind of section, I have some things like backups. And then I also have, I have a few perfumes out here in a tray. The, the two tins hold all my sample cards that I have mostly not explored yet. Then I have some travel sizes in this little container. And then in this folder, I have a bunch of samples or backup scents. Um, backups. Um, you know, a lot of people, especially collectors, are always interested to say, like, how many perfumes do you have? Um, first, I'll just stress that I've been collecting over 30 years. Uh, I probably have about 300 perfumes. If you count oils, probably 400. It is my goal this year, and I've been doing this over the last year. I was probably up to 500. I'm deaccessioning. I'm trying to get down to like 150 to 200 perfumes so that I really focus on the ones I love the most. I do feel like uh, the last few years was was a time, though, to build my collection so that I could develop my nose better. And now I, I am continuing to deaccession some things, so I really focus on the things I love the most. I'm also in a low buy, which I'll talk about later. Um, I am not investing a lot in perfume this year. I'm focusing more on renovations for my house. Um, I will also quickly take you into another room and show you where I keep all my body sprays. Um, yeah, so we're going to move out of my bedroom and across the hall and into my spare room. And this is where I keep all my body sprays. So um, they are essentially all up in this kind of shelving unit or near it. I have some Lush sprays. I have a few from Philosophy. I would say the large majority of my body spray collection is from Bath and Body Works. I have a few from Victoria's Secret. I'm gonna move to the other side here. Um, and so again, my goal is to always be able to see them. Even though I have the lights bright in both of these rooms right now, they tend to be very dark rooms. Um, and so they're great places to store perfume. And I like to be able to see them so that I don't forget about them. I can quickly grab what I want to wear that day. And so this is where I keep my body sprays. So thanks so much to those of you who have requested this. I would love to hear more from you about how you store, whether it's five perfumes or 500. How do you store yours? Are they according to theme, note, house, nose? You know, how do you do it? And what's the perfect amount for you as far as what you would like your collection to be? Um, thanks so much and talk soon. Have a great day. Bye.